Good morning, Redwood Chapel family. Pastor Jeff here. It is Thursday, the 24th of September, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on uh, some of the things that uh, we're hearing from both the state and county level um, with regards to when we'll be able to regather uh, here in our at our church campus for in-person worship gatherings. Uh, before I address that, I just want to mention that at our September elder meeting, um, we made the uh, recommendation that ministries could begin to gather on our campus in outdoor gatherings uh, beyond just what we're doing on Sunday evening at 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And so uh, our student ministries and our um, uh, college and young adult group and a couple of other groups, a membership class, are all being planned for outdoor gatherings here in the next couple of weeks. Some have already begun. And so we're glad to be able to utilize our campus in this way and we're thankful for the council of the elders as we have an opportunity just to talk through some of these plans this last tuesday just two days ago uh, california uh, state uh, made a de designation change for alameda county moving us from uh, the four-tiered system uh, from purple to red and essentially what that means is is that we're able to uh, uh, under a red designation, we're able to gather on our campus for um, up to 25% of capacity or 100 people inside our buildings. Uh, Alameda County heard that report and subsequently said, we want you to wait two more weeks to make sure that there's no spikes in uh, the number of COVID cases here in Alameda County. So while we are in a new designation of red, we are still operating as a purple tier county uh, for two more weeks. Uh, which means that the earliest opportunity that we would have to regather as a church on a Sunday would be Sunday, October 11th. Um, now, that is also the day of our next elder meeting. And so uh, as of right now, our plan is to uh, continue to move forward as we are and then use that October 11th elder meeting uh, to make a designation, a final call as to whether or not we would per pursue and move back towards an indoor gathering of up to 100 people um, pursuant to Alameda County's regulation if they give the green light after those two weeks and uh, just where we feel that we're able to handle as a church body. If we do do that, we'll give you more information, obviously, but uh, some have contacted the church office and said, hey, are we back in church this Sunday because uh, we're now in the red? And uh, the answer is no. The state designated that we're in the red, but our county has said we're still going to hold that for two more weeks. So I know it's a little bit confusing. We're trying to figure out all the details and orders as they come out as well, and we're really grateful for uh, our executive pastor, Eric Younginger, who's uh, on top of all of these things. He's on phone calls with the health directors uh, on a weekly or biweekly basis and uh, just getting all of the information that we can. Uh, we are able to do more on our campus outside at this time, and so we'll be continuing to announce those kind of opportunities. And we're moving uh, in a direction of being able to regather inside in limited capacities. So uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on at our church and uh, how you can be praying for us, be praying for our meeting on October the 11th, be praying that there's not an increase in, in uh, and cases uh, in our county uh, and that we can maintain the, the levels that we're at. And uh, if those things continue to hold true, then it looks like we should be able to start regathering here in the next couple of weeks. We'll keep you posted on all these details. Just wanted to give you a heads up as to how we're thinking about things. God bless you. Thanks for supporting and praying for our church and for our leaders. We're praying for you as well. And uh, if there's anything that you uh, want to communicate to us, please don't hesitate to send us an email or leave us a phone call or um, we'll try to get in touch with you uh, and get back to you with uh, whatever it is that, that is happening in your life and how we can be supporting you. It's good to uh, have the opportunity to stay connected in this way. God bless you. Bye-bye.